thing, but before we do anything, earlier I showed you a very brave three-banded plover, and I've just found its nest with its eggs. So there the eggs are just in this clump over here, very well camouflaged, and you can see them just there. So note to your left, Vim, there we go, in there. So you see two little round eggs? There they are. So incredibly well camouflaged, just like the little nest that it's built. You can see it's pushed little bits together and it's laid its two eggs perfectly there. And that is why this little plover, or lapwing, I mean, no, plover, sorry, I say, it's not a lapwing, is being so brave in the face of a leopard. And I'm surprised Tumba didn't pick it up. And I'm surprised also that, well, I'm glad that when we came in here that we missed that egg and that nest site because it is almost impossible to see had it not been for the little bird going towards it and there we go look she's going to sit on top of it or he whichever one you know, be male and female and there we go it's just going to get everything sorted out make sure all the eggs are together how cool is this <laughs> that is so special we'll have to keep monitoring this little nest and check it day to day until we see the little lapwing chicks it's going to be super cool to see those this is honestly the first three-banded plover nest that I've ever, that I've seen. I don't know why I keep calling it a lapwing. I think it's just the plover lapwing name is getting into my brain a little bit. But it is a three-banded plover, not a lapwing. Please don't quote me on these things. I don't know why I'm saying them. But that is just so cool. And there we go. It's sitting on it and just kind of getting into the right place. Just turning the eggs a little bit, making sure it warms them properly. Tony, you say you can't believe how nice that camouflage is for the eggs. Isn't it amazing? Isn't nature incredible? The way that this little bird knows what its eggs are going to look like and how to camouflage them and make sure that they are in a nest that is made up of a similar material to the color of her eggs is absolutely fascinating and completely amazing. I cannot believe actually how well she's managed to bring those sticks together and if you look at the area around her it looks like just little bits of driftwood it doesn't look as though there's anything major here it just looks like water has washed that all together but that has most definitely been built she's taken sticks and precariously placed them and touched put them in the right places in order to construct this beautiful little nest that is on the ground and to make it blend in as much as possible that's the idea she's trying to make it blend so that if a predator comes along something like a mongoose a monitor lizard because remember she's going to have lots of those near water she has a situation where she needs to walk away and move and nothing's going to be able to see it so she has to construct something that looks just like the rest of the environment and she's done an absolutely beautiful job and has made the most perfect little nest so cool look at that camouflage Mac you saying does she have hiccups no I think she's being as brave as brave can be I think she knows there's these big hulking vehicles there's a leopard around and so she's trying to protect her eggs and she's trying to kind of display them in the hope that the attention will be drawn to her and then if she can get up off the eggs she can move off and be able to take our attention with it and we go with her so that's what she's trying to do or he like I said it's difficult to say whether it's a male or female they are identical at the end of the day but I would imagine it's a female and that's what so the head bobbing is just to be able to kind of draw attention uh, and I'm really surprised that it's come and lay on its eggs when we're so close I mean there's two vehicles around this nest and she's in no way bothered by us at all I suppose it's also it's getting to that time of the night where she has to start trying to protect them and warm them and make sure that she keeps them you know sort of nice and warm and an optimal temperature that the sun has gone down now so that's maybe why she's fighting fear in order to sit on them now Kaylin, you're asking what are the advantages to nesting on the ground well some birds are just not built to be in trees they're not designed this is a bird that spends all its life wading through the shallows of water and so it doesn't have a foot structure in order to perch on a tree and therefore building a nest in a tree is going to be pretty difficult because it's not going to be able to really grip to be able to build very well so it's a water bird it's designed to be near water and generally near water means not too much cover and so they have to work on other ways to be able to be successful and so they build nests like this that are all camouflaged now the advantage of doing that it's interesting I don't know if there is many advantages to being on the ground at the end of the day she's got a lot more problems than the bird that nests in a tree she's got to deal with not only all kinds of predators but vehicles like us driving around and I mean you would never know if this bird was not sitting right there you would have no idea that there are eggs there firstly the secondly that the situation that you know you, you 
she's got to deal with elephants and waterbuck and impalas and all these other animals that walk around here that might squash the eggs in some way and so there's not really too many advantages to be honest other than the fact that she just has the most incredible camouflage for eggs and that's why you find any bird that nests on the ground their eggs are perfect for the environment that they spend time in so you'll find perfectly colored eggs whereas a lot of the other birds that are tree nesters their eggs to be tend to be quite brightly colored so something like an arrow mark babbler will have a bright sort of powder blue colored egg whereas these ones are these absolutely perfectly colored gray eggs now the thing is is that I can't move now that this other vehicles moved I can I can't go anywhere to show you Tumbo because at the end of the day he's behind me over there and you can see him just tucked in a little thicket 